Cell biologists make extensive use of digital image acquisition and analysis. There are many applications available. The one we're going to be using is a two-component system. The first component is called Micromanager and a complementary component called ImageJ. Both are open source software that are available for free downloading. The Micromanager software basically will control your camera, primarily the exposure, and also affects the shutter, that is, the illumination source for the fluorescent microscopy. Whereas the image J is involved in storage of the image once acquired, as well as analysis and some manipulation. We'll get into more detail in subsequent webcasts on how to use image J as well as when we start doing the time-lapse uh, imaging, we'll take a look at further features of Micromanager. Okay, let's start with some basics here. Let's say you've been looking around, you found your perfect cell, and you want to acquire the image. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing is you're going to go here to Micromanager, and you'll look here on the left, you'll see that there's a series of buttons. If what you want to do is select live, and live button does exactly what it sounds like. It's going to display the image as it appears on the scope. And you'll look at this image that I've just acquired. You'll see it's rather hazy, somewhat gray, kind of indistinct. It's really not high quality. And the reason for that is it's a fairly dim image. If you look up here at the exposure time, we're only acquiring about 9 milliseconds. I'm going to change this to 75 milliseconds. Hit Enter. And let's see what that does to the image. Notice how that cleans it up nicely. Now, let's say we want to store this image. Well, first thing we do is hit Stop. And then we hit Snap. Snap does uh, kind of what it sounds like. It'll just grab one frame of that image, and it's going to hold it in the computer memory for you to then store using Image J. So we go over here to Image J, highlight the bar, go over here to File, select Save. And I like to store or my uh, images on a thumb drive, um, so you'll see here the, um, the thumb drive with a directory uh, with today's date. And uh, basically, uh, we've already taken one cell. I'm going to give this another name. I'm going to call it cell 2. I'm going to record it in my lab notebook, uh, what it is and why it's important to me. Uh, hit Save. With that, you have identified yourself and acquired the image and saved it.